Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of TPS TV. Uh, I'm your host, Dan Orchardson, and uh, yeah, this week we're going to review Unbreakable. Not quite a horror film, I suppose, but it's on the fringe, you know? It's a genre film. I feel like, you know, anybody who uh, is huge on horror would like Unbreakable, and so, you know what? going to do it. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying your uh, three-day week. Hope you guys got a three-day weekend. My God, if you guys don't have a three-day weekend, I apologize. This guy, however, enjoy my three-day weekend. So, uh, hope you guys have a great Memorial Day, safe one, you know, everything else. And, uh, yeah, let's just jump quickly into this. Uh, we don't have to talk a whole lot about it because my guy's been out forever and everybody should know about it. But uh, just watched it and I was like, you know what? I don't have anything for TPS TV. Let's uh, bust it out. So, uh, the story of Unbreakable is you got two guys, David Dunn, who uh, is seemingly just indestructible. Like, he uh, literally survives a train crash where it kills every single person on it, except for David Dunn. And then you got Elijah Price, who uh, he's got some kind of rare uh, bone disorder uh, where basically his uh, bones, they're brittle. They can break like glass. <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. Anyways, um, and any, so uh, when Elijah, when he was born, or sorry, when he was younger, you know, his mom got him into comic books. And as a way to get, kind of get him out of the house because he was in his own little bubble. And so she enticed him with comic books, you know. And uh, she's like, get out of the house comic book waiting for you, you know, each time you come out, there'll be another one waiting for you as well, and so he grew up just, you know, obsessed with comic books, and then he started to think about his own situation, thinking, like, you know, if I, if I'm like this, or, you know, I'm brittle, there should be someone else out there who isn't, and when he hears about uh, David Dunn surviving the train wreck, he seeks him out. Uh, this is, I mean, what, what eventually become the Unbreakable Trilogy, I suppose, but when it first came out, it was just a standalone uh, movie and honestly, as far as like superhero movies go, and I'm, I mean I'm throwing this out there, I suppose, even though I, I guess it still qualifies. Uh, I I thought it was just brilliant. Uh, you know, take away the trilogy itself, just look at this movie by itself. Uh, this movie is just on, on all levels. I mean, M Night was really kicking ass as far as you know, d you know, direction, his writing. Uh, Bruce Willis and uh, Samuel L. Jackson kill it in the leads. I mean, it's just brilliant. Um, you know, it's funny, though, because, like, you know, I remember when it came, I don't remember, I remember when I first watched it, liking it, but I remember distinctly, like, it didn't really have that much buzz around it. Like, it seemed like it was one of those movies that literally started getting more, like, people was appreciated more later down the road, it seemed like. But I, I do remember watching it, and then when I'm talking to other people, everybody's just like, well, you can see that ending coming a mile away, and... You know, it's not as good as Sixth Sense. Because you got to remember, at that time, it was only this and Sixth Sense was out. And, of course, the fact that they both had big twist endings was kind of like, you know, oh, this M9 apparently can do nothing but, you know, twist endings. And so, I, I just remember, like, when this movie came out, it didn't seem like it had the fanfare uh, that, well, especially the Sixth Sense, but even, like, Signs had when it came out. And it's funny, because I feel like today, Unbreakable, I mean, according to the crowd, would be more popular than Signs, but... I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I just like I just remember when this came out, it kind of just came and went. Like it wasn't a whole lot of talk about it, and uh, I didn't actually start. Well, I didn't. I don't think I watched it. I didn't watch it when it first came out. I think it's probably a couple years after it dropped that I uh, finally got around to checking it out. Uh, mainly just because, like I said, I don't really remember this thing being advertised that much, which seems crazy, given the fact that like when the Sixth Sense hit, it blew up. Like everybody, you know. Uh, I mean, fucking six cents. But uh, I remember Unbreakable on the other hand. I don't remember much about it. In fact, it wasn't until later on. I had a friend of mine who was like, check it out, and I watched it. Um, like I said, uh, not much to say about this if you haven't, you know, or seen it, or if you've already seen it, you already know, you know, if you haven't, my God, what are you doing watching this? Go check it out right now. Uh, but yeah, I just, everything about this is just brilliant. I love that M. Night. Especially if you watch it, you know, for second, third, fourth, fifth time. Like, I've seen this movie numerous times. I just love that he literally spells it all out for you. But, I mean, I get... I mean, like I said, and I will admit, that, like, early on, and maybe I didn't know all the clues, but you do kind of can tell that the fact that, like, David Dunn has this power when he touches somebody that he uh, can kind of see their evil doing, their crimes, their sins, whatever you want to call it. And... Right off the bat, the fact that he never touches Elijah Price, I'm just kind of like, okay. So, I mean, I will say that, but I don't think it takes away from it. Like, even if you know what the twist ending will be, it doesn't take away from the drama. 
And I think that's why I like about this movie the most. It's you know it's a superhero movie, but it's definitely an unconventional superhero uh, film in the sense that it's all drama based. It's very grounded, somewhat in reality, even though clearly there's very supernatural uh, you know entities here. But uh, I do like the fact that it's um, like you know one of my favorite scenes of the movie is the scene where uh, you know David and his wife and his kid are all in the kitchen and the kids get because the kid believes at this point like even David's kind of like. It's possible I'm a superhero, but I'm not gonna fully, you know, buy into it. And even the mom's just kind of like, eh. but like the kid, like, oh yeah, you're a superhero. And he has the gun, and that scene is so fucking powerful. Like I don't know, man. It's, it's just it, it's it's incredible. It really is. And it's just like it, even you know, seeing the movie, you know, numerous times, you watch it. It's, it's just as powerful and impactful, uh, you know, now as it was the first time I watched it. Uh, so yeah, Unbreakable, brilliant movie. If you haven't checked it out, I urge you guys to do so. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about the movie in the comment section down below. And uh, there will be no TPS TV next week. Uh, we're actually going to be shooting, uh, getting. We had to push it back a couple times, but we're finally uh, locked in to uh, shoot uh, some scenes from the Copperville Chronicles, which uh, yeah will be our next major feature film. So uh, yeah. We'll be able to do this next weekend, but you know what? It's going to be okay because we're going to be filming anyway. So uh, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.